So I think we know that all carpenters are just wannabe janitors that use hammers. So <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I think it's pretty well understood that carpenters are also experts at cleaning things. So today we're going to figure out, do you need harsh chemicals and a lot of scrubbing action to properly clean your tau grout? Or can you get away with the all natural, possibly too good to be true steam cleaner? So what I've done here is I've divided up my bathroom into two sections. We've got team chemical versus team steam. I put some extra dirt in the middle, but there's plenty of other stains to go around on both the sides. So we're going to use the methods on each side. Then we're going to discuss how fast each of them were, how well they actually cleaned the grout. So first up is team chemical. I've got the oxyclean solution all mixed up and ready to go. This is actually a really great way to clean your towel grout. If you want to see a video on that, I'll put a link in the description. I'm actually pretty skeptical that the steam cleaning is going to be better than this, but let's get this party started. Let's start the clock. This is the color the grout should be behind the door here. It's not dirty at all. You can see over here, it's a dark brown. All right, that is done for Team Chemical. Just over 15 minutes. It takes a little bit of time to wipe up all of the uh, residue off the floor. So we're gonna move on to Team Steam and we'll let this dry and then we'll compare. All right, Team Steam is on the clock. It's game seven. So that was an extremely interesting test. I'm kind of surprised by the results. If we look at time, it took just over 15 minutes for Team Chemical. Now for time for Team Steam, it was 11 minutes and 30 seconds. So quicker, you're gonna spend less time kind of cleaning off any chemicals because there isn't any here. I will say with this little steam unit though, there is a lot of water more than I was expecting, and it is a bit of an issue. You don't wanna to get too much water by your baseboards, so you have to be careful there. Now the important thing, which did a better job actually cleaning the grout? It's tough to call here. I would give the slightest of edges to Team Steam. And then once you get the grout all cleaned up, you need to answer one very important question. Should you be sealing the grout? If you'd like to know the answer to that, check out this video right over here. And I don't know if you noticed during the video, this cabinet here is a total disaster. The countertop is pretty bad as well. So if you want to subscribe to the channel and follow along, I'm going to be making videos on how to get this professionally refinished for as cheap as possible. And as well, how to get a nice granite countertop, saving a bunch of money in the process.